Hey there, it's been over a month since I have been using the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and I'm excited to give you a full and unbiased review of it. I'll share my thoughts on its features, performance and more. In this video, I will also cover what's new in the Watch 6 compared to the Watch 5, its everyday performance and usability, the operating system and user interface, fitness and health tracking capabilities, battery life and most importantly, I'll help you decide if it is the right choice for you. Let's start with its design and size. I opted for the 44mm version of the Galaxy Watch 6 because before this I was using the smaller variant of the Watch 5 which had 40mm size. So I thought of trying the larger variant this time to discover its pros and cons as well. This is the LT variant and I bought it for $350. You can check it out on Amazon by using the link in the description. This Galaxy Watch 6 weighs only about 33.3 grams and the 40mm variant of this one is only 28 grams, making it one of the lightest options available in the smartwatch market. Samsung fits a 1.56 inch Super AMOLED screen into this compact body, providing excellent display quality even in bright lighting conditions. I particularly appreciate the always on display, so I can quickly check the time without awkward wrist movements. A temperature sensor is also available on the back side of the watch, you can see it here. If you want to know how to measure temperature with your Galaxy Watch 6, then tap on the i button. Other sensors this watch contains are accelerometer, gyro, compass, heart rate and barometer. Samsung has reduced the bezels which has resulted in an increased screen size area. This makes it very easy to use. The display on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 is exceptional. It comes with the same sapphire crystal glass and the aluminium frame that Samsung uses in the Watch 5. But this time, its screen is brighter than older versions. Samsung has increased the screen brightness from 1000 nits to 2000 nits. If you are outdoors in heavy sunlight, then you will not face any problem with its brightness. I generally use adaptive brightness because enabling this option allows the screen brightness to adjust itself according to the surrounding conditions. This also helps me save battery. In my opinion, the screen and brightness of Watch 6 is more comfortable than the Watch 5. Galaxy Watch 6 runs on Wear OS 4.0, which is a positive shift from the previous Tizen OS. Before the Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung used its own Tizen OS for its smartwatches. However, with the Watch 4 and subsequent models, they have started using Google's Wear OS. With Wear OS, you can install apps from the Play Store which can enhance the functionality of your smartwatch. The operating system is smooth and the user interface based on Samsung's One UI remains consistent with what you find on the Watch 5. In my review of Watch 5, we observed that if you install too many apps, the watch starts working slowly. However, with Watch 6, they have used a new chip alongside the same processor which provides better functionality. The Watch 6 has a dual-core processor that runs at 1.4 GHz while the Watch 5 has a dual-core processor that runs at 1.18 GHz and the Watch 6 has 2 GB of RAM while the Watch 5 has 1.5 GB. This is the fastest processor in Samsung Galaxy watches. I have installed numerous games and apps on the Watch 6 and it has not affected its speed. Speaking of games, I have created a video showcasing the top 7 games that you can play on your Watch 6. To watch it, simply tap on the i button. The Galaxy Watch 6 uses standard 20mm silicon bands. The band mechanism in the Galaxy Watch 6 is entirely different. You can attach or deattach it with a single click. It's incredibly simple. If you want to use your old bands, then you can also use them because all Galaxy watches use 20mm bands. This watch is an LTE variant, so you can use calling and internet features without having your phone near or active with you. For this, you need to set up its eSIM. It works on the same plan and phone number with which you are activating its mobile plan. If you want to see how to do its eSIM setup, then check out our video by tapping on the i button. This feature is very helpful. To use the calling feature on the Bluetooth variant of the watch, you will need to keep your mobile phone connected via Bluetooth. 
However, you also have the benefit of Wi-Fi functionality, allowing you to use the watch independently via Wi-Fi when your mobile phone is not nearby. Now, let's talk about battery life. Samsung has increased the battery capacity in the Watch 6 compared to the Watch 5. This watch has a 325mAh battery. With all smart features enabled, I am getting around 15 to 18 hours on a single charge. My settings include having the always-on display, wake gesture, all-day stress and heart rate monitoring, and sleep tracking enabled. However, turning off some features can extend its battery life to around 1 to 2 days. Battery life has been a weak point for Samsung smartwatches, but it's sufficient for my usage pattern and I have to charge it every day. Battery life depends on how you use it. If you want to check the battery life test video in detail, then subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. We will be publishing a video on this soon. Other than this, we have created a video on battery saving tips. Tap on the i button to watch it. If we talk about charging, the Galaxy Watch 6 takes more than 1 hour to charge 100%, which is a bit slower than some other watches I have used. I recommend investing in a 25 watt or higher charger for faster charging. Without one, it takes approx 2 hours to charge fully. Check out our video, Must Have Accessories for Galaxy Watch using the i button. These accessories will help you to enhance your experience. I would like to share a charging tip with you as well. If you have a phone with a USB-C charging port, then you can also charge your watch using your phone. For health tracking, the Watch 6 is loaded with sensors including heart rate monitoring, stress monitoring, sleep tracking, SpO2 monitoring, ECG, blood pressure, BMI measurement and temperature monitoring. Most of these functions are accurate, but please note that ECG and blood pressure monitoring are only available in specific regions. The Galaxy Watch 6 tracks your daily activity, including steps and time. It also displays the number of calories you burn. If you swipe left on the home screen, you will access the tiles section, where you will see three heart icons. The outermost green one counts your steps, the blue one tracks time, and the innermost red one measures your current calorie burn. It looks similar to Apple's rings, doesn't it? Other than this, it accurately measures exercises, you can track various types of workouts and for this, you can enable the auto-detect workout feature. We have also created a separate video on this, so tap on the i button to watch it. For running and walking, it performed better, automatically recognizing these activities. You can create custom exercises, but it only tracks duration and heart rate. If you are doing weightlifting, then there are limitations in some exercises. I tried arm curls and it had features like counting reps, but in some weightlifting exercises, rep counting is not available. The lack of features like rep counting and custom exercise tracking is a downside for weightlifting enthusiasts. Samsung has significantly improved the sleeping feature in the Galaxy Watch 6 by adding a new sleep metric. In Watch 5, the sleep results are not accurate, but in Watch 6, the sleep results are accurate. I have been using this feature for a long time and in my opinion, it is the most valuable feature of this watch. The watch accurately tracks the start and stop times of your sleep, showing your actual time in bed. Watch 6 also provides suggestions to improve your sleep. The Galaxy Watch 6 offers sleep stage tracking, which includes REM sleep, deep sleep and more. Some competitors provide sleep stage tracking better than this, but its results are okay in my experience. This is essential for monitoring sleeping habits. The Galaxy Watch 6 also offers a snoring detection feature while you are asleep, but the phone must be on a stable surface near your head within the distance of the watch. This also records your snoring voice. Some people face issues like not getting the right results and not working for them while they are using this feature. I don't snore while sleeping, so I couldn't experience that feature. If you want a video on this, please comment below. If we get many comments, then we will make a brief video on this. One of the standout features of the Galaxy Watch 6 is SpO2 tracking, which allows you to monitor your blood oxygen saturation. The heart rate measuring and body composition results of the Galaxy Watch 6 are accurate. Compared to the Galaxy Watch 5, the results are even more accurate. You can also measure ECG with the Galaxy Watch 6. 
but this feature is available in specific regions. At the time of making this video, the ECG feature is not available in my region. The Samsung Health app provides insights and metrics on your overall health data. It gives a 30-day overview of the analysis. You can sync your health data to other apps like Google Fit. Moving on, let's now explore the feature of Galaxy Watch 6 that is likely to be utilized by many users. GPS or Location Tracking It has inbuilt Google Maps. If your watch does not have Google Maps, then you can install it from the Play Store. You can use it for tracking your cycling or running path. You can see on screen how it is showing my walking path on maps. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 lets you pay with your watch using NFC technology. You can make payments at places like stores and restaurants that accept contactless payments. To turn on this feature, you need to swipe up from the watch face. Tap on the settings icon, then select connections. Tap on NFC and contactless payment. Once you have added your card, you can make payments by holding your watch close to the payment reader at the checkout counter. This is a cool feature for those who pay with the cards every time. There is a wide variety of watch faces available in the Galaxy Variable app for the Watch 6. You can customize these watch faces. The customizable watch faces with numerous complications making it a multitasking smartwatch. You can also use always on display with your favorite watch face. It helps you to provide all information on screen without waking it up. I have already published a video on the best watch faces for the Galaxy Watch 6. You can watch it by tapping the i button. In the video, I explain 15 fantastic watch faces that are perfect for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. Whether you prefer analog designs, fitness focus features, health related stats, informative displays or sports themed clock faces, you will find them all. This watch comes with a digital bezel and the Watch 6 Classic comes with a physical rotating bezel. The Watch 6 is for a sporty look, while the Watch 6 Classic is for a more classic style. You can watch our video where we differentiate between both watches. The link is in the description and the i button. So why should you consider buying the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6? You should consider buying the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 if you want a premium looking smartwatch that's suitable for various occasions. It's packed with smart features, accurate sleep tracking metrics, basic health and fitness and is user friendly. Overall, I like the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and Samsung improved many things in it. The Watch 6 has become a seamless part of my daily routine. Thanks for joining me in this review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. I hope you found this review helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to tap the notification bell to stay updated. If you want more wearable content, then check out the related videos on Wearholic. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.